call on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kakadash. That's who this world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Double honors to all the apostles across the four corners of the earth, the elders and apostles across the four corners of the earth, and the brothers that's pushing this, the few brothers that's pushing this truth. Shout out to the Israelites that's like a speckled bird, looking like the heathen, causing confusion. Uh, to y'all, we like to say shout out to the world. We kind of uh, break down Revelations chapter 12. We're going to get right into it. Um, go ahead, brother. Okay. This is the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Now, that woman is Israel, man. And those stars, those 12 stars, is Israel as well. How can we prove that? Let's go to Genesis 37 and 9. Okay. Huh. It reads, Genesis 37 and 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars made obeisance to me. Now that's Joseph, man. Joseph make up the 12 star because he had 11, man. So he had a dream about the stars and those 11 stars is his brothers, man. So that's how we know that he, that, that, uh, those stars is Israel, man. That's right. And I believe, uh, let me see. Uh, right. And, uh, yeah. Go to Revelation 21 and 9. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 9. It reads, And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. And talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the lamb's wife. That, that lamb, man, is Yahweh Shah, man. He's the ultimate lamb. He came for the, uh, the, uh, the law of sacrifice, the sacrificial law, man. It, excuse me. He didn't come for the, uh, uh, put away no other law. Okay. And in Jeremiah says, Israel is a wife unto me, man. So... Not really what script. I don't know what script. Matter of fact, I'll get it. Let me see. If you can get that for me. Okay. Andrew has a bride unto me. That's the paraphrasing. It's a lot. See why. Mm. Now I do know I have a precept where the Lord does say uh, He was married unto us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You bring that out. Never brings out the point. They don't get it. It is what it is. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 3. Alright, let me see if I can get straight to the point. Alright, this is Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 20. It says, Surely as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. Huh. So that, that clearly shows you that uh, the Lord uh, deems Israel as his wife, man. The, the 12 tribes of Israel. In this context, he's talking about how uh, they separated themselves from him 
However, you can't separate yourself from someone if you weren't with them in the beginning. Like he's saying, he's a, he it was a husband unto them and were his wife. Mm-hmm. 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 Alright, mm-hmm. uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 2. It says, And she being with child cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Now this is going into how a shot come and being born, man. Mary about that, yeah, was shot, man. Okay, verse three. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. Mm, that's, that, that's the ancient Roman Empire, man, right there. That's what that's talking about. And to prove that's that's Esau too, man. That's Esau. All right, that's right. Period. And the seven horns and ten heads is the. Uh, it's the ones in ancient Roman Empire. I bring that out in another lesson. I'm trying to get straight to the point. I do know what those is. There's two of them. There's two beasts. There's the beast today and the beast back then in the ancient Roman Empire, okay? So I understand that. But we're going to get to this red dragon. Let's go to Matthews 12 and 13. Two. It's a lot. Matthews 2 and 13. All right. It's the book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. It reads... And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. All right. And uh, so, so uh, Her- who, who is Herod? An Edomite, man. Okay. It tells you that in uh, Kings. Tells you that in the book of Kings, man. First Kings, I believe, man. Herod is an Edomite, man. Okay? So, that's the red dragon, man. That's the devil the Bible speaks of. Esau, man. That's right. Okay? Go oh, ahead, yeah, brother. Okay. All right. Continuing on through verse 4. It reads, Revelation 12 and 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. Right. Who is that? Who is that? That that tell that drew the uh, the third part of the stars, man. Those three star, those three parts are the southern kingdom, man. Who is in who is in captivity? What what Shah? What 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 kingdom was in captivity with Yahweh Shah? It was the southern kingdom, man. Okay, it was the southern kingdom. Okay. That, and that and that and, and the tell drew the third part of the stars of heaven. That's that's uh, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah, man. That's what that is, man. They were cast out of heaven, man. Meaning cast down, man. Cast out of rulership. They went into slavery. Okay? That's right. Go ahead. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And who was that? Herod and the Edomites, man. That's right. The Roman Empire, man. You so-called white people are the devil, man. That's right. Y'all, tried to, y'all did kill our Lord, man. We gave them up, but y'all slain. That's right. Sure enough, yeah, two thirds got it coming. They gave them up. Y'all definitely did. We That's definitely right. did. That's right. Ain't no we. Right. I'm not Can't. with y'all. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> not Can't. with y'all. All you niggas thinking hell is real. All you niggas uh, running around talking about uh, reincarnation is madness. You yeah. niggas don't understand the scriptures. That's right. Y'all lost. And y'all definitely got to be part of two thirds. You ain't gonna save me no nigga without what happened with it. God. <laughs> You're right. Nigga gotta have the whole nigga gotta have the whole stroke. That's right, man. And the fact that you point out uh, a nigga with half the wisdom, that's exactly how I would, that's beautiful. That's exactly how I would describe the Israelites who offered them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kill them. That's the only part of the law that they wanted to keep. <laughs> kill them. Damn. Well, he didn't kill them. Yeah, no, y'all damn sure didn't. But y'all get y'all y'all definitely did leave give them up for death. Huh. Y'all basically did, but y'all didn't. That's right. It's not. All right, verse five. It says, "And she brought forth a man child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto Yahweh and to his throne." All right, and yeah. that's how was shot going to rule all nations. Let's go to Psalms two, seven through. Nine. This is a future prophecy that David 
prophesied about, man. David prophesied about Yahweh shot, man. That's right. So how did the excuse me, all you Israelites that believe in the Old Testament, not the new, this is proof right here. I got two hardcore scriptures, two cutthroat scriptures that's gonna break y'all that these prophets prophesied about Yahweh shot coming. That's right. It's Psalm chapter two and verse seven. I will declare the decree. Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, Salah, that's, that's the Lord talking to King David. Tell him he will do that, man, because he looked at King David as a son too, man. And King David went off, but what did he say? He had a heart of the Lord, man. Roughly paraphrasing. King David did, man. He had a heart. He had a heart of the Lord, man. You know right. what I mean? He definitely did. He did, he did everything the Lord with, wanted him to, man. Let's go to Revelations. What is it? Nineteen. Yeah, Revelations nineteen, man. This is gonna prove that this, this is talking about Yahweh. Nineteen and thirteen. Thirteen through. 15. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Yahweh. And the armies. And his name is called what? The Word of Yahweh. So, all you, all you, all you Negroes that's out there that scoff us, man, and talk about, oh, uh, we, we, we believe in Jesus Christ, and he, he didn't come, he, he came as the law. Yahweh Shah came as a law. So what that mean? This book stands. This book is him. You know what I'm saying? This book is him, man. So if you if you disagree with anything in this book, you neglecting Yahweh Shah, man. You definitely neglecting Yahweh Shah, man. It's a lot. That's right. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that which, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty Yahweh. Come, man. And that's Yahweh shot, man. That's right. He's gonna rule. He, the Lord is gonna set him up to rule over all these nations, man. Nobody's safe. Nobody's cool. No nation gonna be cool, man. That's right. Ain't nobody gonna be cool. Ain't nobody gonna be. Ain't, ain't gonna be no nation where, oh man, everything all right. And yes, two thirds is going back to the kingdom too. Man. Look. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Revelation chapter twelve, continuing on through verse four, uh, five. That's future prophecy. Now it's going back in the old prophecy. That's the thing with Revelations, man. You, most of you niggas can't read Revelations because Revelations kept the old, new, old, new, old prophecy, new prophecy, old prophecy, new prophecy in the same chapter. That's how cold John was, but he wasn't in truth. Right. <laughs> God. But he wasn't in truth. Yeah, okay. That's madness. That's yeah. madness. Yeah, that's that's yeah. You need to get the fuck away from that. Them niggas. God. Definitely need to. It was Revelation chapter twelve and verse six. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of Yahweh, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. So an amount of time. God. Now, now, if Yahweh was born in the winter, in the winter, how the hell is she in the wilderness chilling? Had to be nice. Right. Can't be cold. Go ahead. Verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. That's future prophecy, man. That's talking about when how was shot come back, man. That's right. Esau is going to... I don't know why Esau put Michael in there. I ain't going to deal with that. <laughs> But uh, that's talking about Yahweh Shah, man. When Yahweh Shah come back to, to redeem the elect, man. Esau is going to try to fight him with his aircrafts, man. And all his uh, ICBMs. Good. And all that. He's going to try everything he can. But he, and he's calling them aliens. 
but they're not, man. They're That's the right. angels. They're the angels in your house shop, man. That's right. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, and I actually got a preset for yeah, that. Let's see if I can grab it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was shot coming back for us, man. We need him to come back. If he don't come back, man, we through, man. Uh. <laughs> they teaching this LGBTQ to the kids, man. Kids think it's okay to love another uh, little girl. It's crazy, man. A girl thinks it's okay to love another little girl in middle school. This is in middle school, man. Yes. This is in middle. This is sick, man. This is in middle school, man. That's yeah, sick. It's sick, man. This place is... Yeah, brother. All right. This is Jude chapter 1 and verse 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam... Prophesied of thee, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. And, and that's what Brother John is going into, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai, he's going to come with, with his the army of angels and, and with the elect, man. And, and, and they're going to be the ones to judge this place. And actually, I'm going to read uh, verse 15 as well. It says, To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, like the elder was going into, man, this homosexuality is rapid amongst the, the young generation, man. Uh-huh. They're, they're breeding them with that ideology. Even these old-ass niggas think it's okay to dress like this new generation gay niggas, man. Uh-huh. Skinny jeans, vans on with shirts. Like, old niggas is doing this. Izzy Brothers age. Niggas, Izzy Brothers age, nigga. I know Izzy age doing this shit, bro. Like, this place is sick, man. And if you if you spiritually can't see this, bro, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We sigh and cry about these abominations. That's right. And it says, And of all their hard speeches... Which ungodly sinners have spoken against him, right? So, so basically, they're, they're not going unchecked with all this wickedness, man. Um, the Lord has seen it all and He's heard it all, and, and this is exactly why this judgment is set up, man. All right. So going back, this uh, Revelation chapter twelve and verse eight, it says, "And prevail not; neither was their place found any more in heaven." And Esau is not going to be ruling no more, man. After that happened, Esau ain't going to rule no more, man. That's what that's talking about. It's not talking about uh, niggas up and the devil up in heaven fighting you out. You're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> no, you're stupid. No, you, nigga, no. It's talking about Esau rulership, man. Okay. It, once, once Esau tried to fight you out with shining the angels... I mean, how shall I destroy this place, man? Man, um, Esau is not going to have no more rulership, man. He's going to he's gonna do his time in slavery. He's going to be wiped out to earth, man. That's right. That's in the book of Obadiah, man. That's right. Go read that for yourself. Yeah. In uh, verse 9, it says, And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. That, that okay, that old devil, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. You, you see, you see that man. So that what, what's that telling you, man? What's that telling you, man? That that's telling you it, it's not nobody. If he was cast away. How is he gonna be? If he live on the ground, how the hell he was cast away? That don't make sense. If this devil is on the ground, he should be already cast away, right? He's on the ground. Okay. How can he be doing anything else? No, it's talking about a nation of people, man. Okay. Uh, and, and, that's and Satan, a, okay. go ahead, go ahead, brother. Okay. No, I was about to add too. Like you said, if he's already underground. How is he deceiving the whole world? Exactly. And, and he underground. Exactly. That makes sense. And who who deceived the nations, man? Esau, Edom, man. That's right. 
that old covering church, man. Uh-huh. Put the veil over the nations, man. Like you said in Isaiah, man. That's I right. believe that's Isaiah. Yeah. Okay. He put the veil over the nations, man. This is what he has done, man. That's right. Uh, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Now, if they underground, how they cast out the earth? Okay. They're already underground. I mean, nah, the Lord telling you they're going to be wiped out. That's right. They're going to be wiped out, man. That's what the Lord telling you, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Mm, now, now, who is the accuser of the, of, of, the, of the brethren? That's Esau, man. He is the accuser of Jacob, man. He That's said, right. man, he he cast, he said is cast down which the accuser before them before accused them before our power day and night. Who do that? The media, the media, the news, prison houses. That's right, nigga. They, you go to the courthouse, man. Nigga, judges is is is, is, is uh, 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 uh accuser of us, man. Jake Jake doing sixty two years didn't do a damn thing, man. Huh. They are the accusing of the brother and why? They are our brother, man. They are our brother, man. That's right. That's talking about Esau, man. Go ahead, brother. Okay. It says in verse eleven, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. And that's talking about the elect and the elect and the one third that learned. Mm. Basically, let's talk about the elect and the one third that learned. Nigga, we hate it here. Like, like y'all right. said, he who loved, he who loved this world cannot love the Father, man. That's right. So we don't love this world, man. That's right. We don't love nothing in this world. That's right, man. We don't want nothing off this bitch, man. We hate our lives, bro. We definitely do. Hey, 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 you, some of you stupid people like, how can you say that? That's harsh. Right. Uh, because we know this ain't the life. God. We know this ain't living, bro. God. This ain't living. If you think this is living, you're stupid. God. You're stupid. You're stupid. Going to work every day, paying taxes. You go to work all year, pay taxes, one, and file your taxes once a year. Don't even get a one third back of what you did all year. God. And you think this living? Fourteen hundred dollar stimulus check through a fake ass pandemic, and you don't lost thousands. Mm. And they give you a punk ass fourteen hundred, and you think this is living, man? Mm. You niggas are stupid, man. Stupid as hell. Stupid. This ain't living, man. Kids out of order. Women out of order. Whole the whole nation out of order, man. This is this ain't living, man. This ain't living, bro. This is not living, man. This is hell, man. This is hell. That's right. That's why I like the scripture to say the devil has to be cast down. This is hell, man. This is where Satan is ruling. Come on. It's not under the earth. Big, that's beautiful. He's definitely not ruling under the earth. <laughs> There's a place you go to and get tortured. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gonna go to that place concentration camp, nigga? You're definitely gonna go to that place. Now, that's where that's where that's where it talks about a revelation when they uh went to the lake of fire and was tormented, nigga. Before that lake of fire, here you gonna get tormented. Where at concentration camps, man? That's right. Definitely is, man. You gonna get tormented before you get with that lake of fire. That's right, man. There ain't no torment underground. These are gonna torment you on earth. Continuing on through verse 12. It reads, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. And if I can say something right now while it's going, that the Lord is, he got a sense of humor. He definitely do, because we're going into the judgment of you, you wicked ass Jakes and Esau, and the Lord said, Rejoice, man. He's saying, Celebrate this, Jake. That's, that's tough. And they love it. 
Yeah, they definitely DJs are. DJs love it. You only get one life, but live it up. Kind, right, exactly. Nigga, if we only get one life, and reincarnation is madness, why you how was shot tell the prophets and the apostles they going to see him again? So if they dead already, and the kingdom here, the kingdom come, how they going to see you how was shot in him? Kind. If there's no reincarnation. They kind. You niggas are stupid. <laughs> God. He says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. God, you can bring your opinion on that. God. Well, already, you know, the word woe means death and destruction, right? And hopping on to the fact that we've already been kind of saying death and destruction to the inhabitants of the earth, not the inhabitants of the depths of hell, the inhabitants of the earth, man. That's where the devil's going to come down unto you, having great wrath. And that great wrath goes into, like the elder was saying, these concentration camps, man, where they're going to try to relearn you and re-educate you and to believe in a system and uh, enforcing that mark, man, mark of the beast, which is that RFID chip, man. That's the the great wrath that Esau is about to bring out and come down on you, with you hard, cause like the scripture says, he knows he has but a short time. Man. He, he knows your house is is preparing and is about to be on his way to come and judge this place. Come so he's about to bring out as much hell as he can before he goes down. That's it. Right. And like the brother said, man, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Nigga, for the devil come down upon you having great wrath, man. And Esau been doing that. Cause so I've been coming down with this raft on you niggas, man. But y'all about to see a raft y'all ain't never seen with Esau. Alright. Uh, <laughs> definitely are. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About to get big real with Esau, nigga. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know it, man. With Esau's wickedness, man, he been giving Jace love taps right now. Uh, Com- compared to Compared to what he going what the Lord gonna allow him to come through with. Kind. For real. Because it's really going to be the Lord Ralph using the sword. That's right. Using the sword, man. That's right. My bad. No, you sure. Uh, continuing on to verse 13, it says, And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. Mm-hmm. He persecuted the woman that brought forth the man-child, man. That That's Israel. That's Israel, man. The Yahweh came here, and now he he's persecuting us today, man. That's right. Persecuted us back then, he's still persecuting us today, man. Okay? It, it ain't went away. Big time. It ain't went away yet, man. The Lord is long-suffering. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And that that's 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 ultimately going in uh seventy AD, man. Where Israel had to flee, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And go to uh, Isaiah forty. And those wings ain't no actual wings, man. God. <laughs> you gotta still, say that. You gotta yeah, say that. Those wings ain't no actual wings. Go to Isaiah 40 and 31. Okay. Uh, that'll give them some type of. Okay. It reads Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi Shai, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. See that man? So the the wings is just gonna give us basically spiritual power and strong faith and belief. That's right. Cause we still gotta run and walk. Can't. <laughs> you see that? Can't. They shall run. And they shall walk, nigga. So those actual wings ain't talking about him carrying away. Those wings is actually him watching over us, man. Okay. Right. Be those chariots. Can't. Big okay. All right. Uh, Revelation chapter 12, continuing on down through verse 15. And it says, And the serpent cast out of his mouth 
water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And and that's twofold, man. That's talking about your mind, too, to uh, Israel today mind, man. And and uh and 70 AD, man. It was carried away through the flood, man. Through the flood of Esau. But two when I say twofold today, twofold today that that flood then came through and washed away Israel's mind, man. They Israel is then don't went away with the flood. God. <laughs> Israel done, uh, Esau then came through with his flood of democracy, Christianity, Buddha, but Buddhism, God. fucking uh, every religion. God. Period. Islam. Yeah, every religion. Religion. Big period, God. man. Big religion. God. Period. Uh, his his money, his philosophies. And Israel done went with the flood, man. That's right. Israel done went with the flood, man. Big time. Go ahead, brother. This is verse uh, 16. And the earth helped the woman. Oh, shit. God. <laughs> God. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. <laughs> uh, a lot of niggas gonna think. So the earth just opened the mouth. God. Saved the woman. First of all, who that woman, man? That woman is the nation of Israel still. Man. That's right. Okay. And no, man, that, 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 what it mean by that, man, is, is the, hurt, the earth helped them hide, man. They fled in the west shores of Africa, man, didn't they? They hid, man. The earth helped them hide. The Lord used the earth to help them hide, man. They didn't act. The earth didn't actually just open their mouth. Okay. Man. Right. You know what <laughs> it is. Yeah. And, and, that, and, 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 and that's, that, that's what y'all got to understand, man. That, hold on. Matter of fact, let me see. Micah 4 and 10 on that. Okay. This is the book of Micah, chapter 4 and verse 10. It reads, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. And, 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 you, and you know that's that's too full because that's going to happen today, man. And that's going to happen, and that we're going to show you that in this next verse, man. That's right. This Revelation chapter twelve and verse seventeen, and the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And which keep the commandments. Which what? Which keep the commandments. Which what? Which keep the commandments. And it ain't ten. Come. Huh. It ain't ten, man. That's the elect, man. That's right. That's the elect. The Lord's chosen, man. Which keep the commandments, man. Go to uh, Isaiah 59 and 19. Okay. Book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 19. And it reads, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Huh. Read 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression, and that turn from transgression, <laughs> that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh. That keep the commandments, man. That's right. Those of them that keep the commandments, man, and turn from what? Transgression. transgression. What is transgression? Sin of the uh, law, sinning of the law, man. That's right. You keep falling, y'all keep falling. You Negro guys keep falling short of this law, man. That's right. Willingly too, man. 
it's a lot of things that we we do in, in our daily life then that we'll be like, damn, niggas gotta break the law. We, we gotta go do this. I gotta go do this. I gotta go to work. I gotta get gas. It's not. It's not just like we live in our day everyday life like a two third man. Mm. No man. We know. We know. We it's things we have to do. So there we have to repent, man. That's right. But the rest of you niggas, man, y'all ain't turned from no transgressions. You niggas can't even stop eating. Uh, you niggas can't even stop eating swine, man. That's right. Won't stop, man. And that's a beautiful precept for that, man. Turn. It is. Yeah, those those that turn from their transgression, man. Okay. And like 17 said, which which keep the commandments of Yahweh, man. Right. So you gotta keep the commandment. Uh, go to Revelation 20. And hold on. Revelation 20. Is it 21? I think I know what you're looking for. You know that uh, keep the commandments and yeah. have the faith. It is Revelation, or it might be Revelation 19. Mm-hmm. It, it is somewhere in here, man. And the faith. <laughs> Revelation 22. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah, the commandments and the faith. Let me check something. Uh, is it? Damn, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. This is off the spirit, man. Come on, I got you this right here. Freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> Revelation 14. Come on, 14. Come on, and uh, 12. All right. Come on, it reads, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh. So, so it's a package deal. The commandments ain't done just through faith. You're done. You're stupid. God. Definitely not. God. You gotta keep the commandments and faith, nigga. God. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I eat swine, but I got faith. You're stupid. Exactly. You, you're unclean to Yahweh, nigga. He gonna look at you and say, I never knew you. That's right. That's right. That's all I got to say on that. Uh, you know, you got something else to say? Uh, nah, nah, that was that's it. Mm, well, that's Revelations 12, man. Call Call Law Yahweh, 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 Yahwe